108 pulls for free? Dear diamonds and fellow diamonds and rough. Dwithering Waves just dropped a massive nuclear bomb in the streets right now. Like, it just released, and I'm just in literal shock. I'm not going to script this. This is going to go off the scalp. So, to keep up with everything Withering Waves, like, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it, man. Withering Waves official release rewards overview. Get 108 pulls for free. Uh, hey, hey, hey. This has to be a catch. Let's, <laughs> let's break it down. Ain't no way it's that easy. Okay. Rovers can get 84 Lustrous Chats, 14 Radiant Chats, which I'm going to assume is the limited banner currency. So the 84 Lustrous Chats is actually, do not misunderstand, this is the standard banner currency. And we will need a crap ton of these. I'm pretty sure they're going to tackle it because this shit is pretty long. So let's keep it moving. And 1800 Asteroids, which are basically 10 more pulls you can use in the standard, uh, in the whatever banner you want, basically. This is like your Primo Gems or Stellar Gems if we're going to use the Genshin or Star Rail terms completely for free. Plus, a 5-star weapon of your choice if you don't know which 5-star weapon to pick for immediate and future value. I have a video going over what every character needs, what they have for best in starter, what's the best weapon for free-to-play. Plus, the best 5-star you can have for your account in overall value. So I would very much recommend you watch that video. I really do. Uh, a 4-star weapon of your choice, which is the pre-registration. I also talked about which is the best to get because you also get another unit for free. So I highly recommend you watch that video. We also get 4 units for free. It's the San Hua. We all knew that, and you all will, but that's available only in the end game content for the game. And other valuable rewards. Additionally, the Novus Convene and Beginner's Choice Convene events will also be available from which you can get two five-star resonators. All right, let's talk about it. This is gonna be important, so pay attention. Novus Convene deals and Beginner's Choice Convene. In the Novus Convene banner, you can perform 10 convenes with 20% off. Convenes is, a is probably a poll. And you can do a 10 pull with a 20% off, meaning you can do a 10 pull using only eight lustrous tides, all right? The standard banner currency. However, do keep in mind that this Novus banner does not include a single pull, right? I don't think they're gonna mention it. Yeah, I don't see it. So do keep in mind this shit does not have a single pull available. So you gotta like save up eight to be able to do that. But they're gonna give you 330 right off the bat. So we should be fine for a while. Every 10 convenes lustrous converts to 8. You are guaranteed to get a 5-star resonator with 15 convenes. Actually, it's 40. Because they actually give you a 20% off, this 50 becomes 40. So with 40 pulls and you already have 30 from pre-registration slash the free 10 they're going to give us, that's actually already 30. So <laughs> re-rolling is going to be very simple. The Novus Convene banner will be closed once you obtain a 5-star resonator. Okay, so that's the standard... Uh, starter banner we have in most gacha games so uh, obviously they want you to have a good welcome but obviously at some point you can't abuse it so you can only do that once when the novice convene banner closes the beginner choice convene banner unlocks so here it is okay so it's official now it's totally 1000 percent confirmed unfortunately there was a catch we do get to choose our five star but it takes time this will take time you don't just start off with it. So I personally would recommend here, we got to talk re-rolling here, ladies and gentlemen. We have to talk about it. Now, because of this, you only get your character of choice after like 120 pulls, okay? You get 84 of them, bitches. That's what they said you can get. And plus, like, you can probably get more as you play the game. Like, uh, you know, in the future, they're going to give us some for free. But as it stands, probably in 1.0, uh, I don't know if they added the battle pass in that. Uh, I'm not sure in the math of the 84, but because in, in the battle pass, you get seven free pulls. So I don't know if those are included. So uh, basically what I would propose is you have to get a character you would love to have. It does not have to be the character you want, but say for example, I want Kacharo. If I get a Jensen, I'm cool. You know, Jensen looks like a cool unit. Sure, why not? I can keep playing. If I get Encore or Ling Yang, I might fucks with Ling Yang. I don't know about Ling Yang, man. But if I get Encore, yeah, I'm out. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. Encore is a fine unit. It can do a lot of damage. I just don't like lollies doing DPS. That's just not for me personally. But if it is for you, that's good. Hey, more power to you, man. Verena is obviously going to be the chase character. They even put that bitch on the middle. Like, they know... We all know, okay, Verena's going to be the chase character. But because of the two five stars, you can always like, guarantee Verena later. So like, if I just start off with Kacharo Jensen, I'm happy personally. And most importantly, the limited banner, especially if you're going for Gion. If you're going for Gion, you will have to wait a little. You have to stay your hand 
to reaching pity in the beginner's choice. Because if you lose the 50-50, you don't want it to be a dupe of some shit you already have. And then you might be like, well, fuck, I've already chosen from the cho beginner's choice. I can't choose anymore. And now I'm just stuck with a dupe. You kind of want a, like a lot of units. I personally would say we can easily say we're starting off with three five stars. One from the limited banner, one from the novice choice, one from the novice banner, and one from the beginner's choice. So we get to three, probably by the end of 1.0, probably. We're going to end up with three five stars. Easy, free to play, very simple. But if you're going for Gion, you kind of want to stay your hand. If you're going for Yin Lin, I'm fairly certain you should have enough pulls by the end of uh, 1.0 to guarantee Yin Lin. I'm fairly certain because you have to take into account also you playing every fucking day, you doing quests, you doing everything. You will have more pulls as time goes on, especially if you go with the pass or battle pass. I might be doing giveaways on my Twitch. So do feel free to pull up. I do feel like this is the best reroll if you go for Gion or Yin Lin. Like you got to adapt accordingly depending on your target. But for the standard units, like, uh, I feel like it's just a matter of rerolling in the Novus. Get something you want and then you pick your favorite and you go from there. But again, adapt depending on Gion and Yin Lin. Those matter a lot and will change things. Official release pre-registration milestones. We talked about this already. The 20 lustrous ties. We also get 200 free pulls. I don't even know what these are. And let's face it. We don't care. Social media follow milestones. This is the four star weapon we talked about. Again, I highly recommend you go watch the video I talked about for getting the best weapon and the best value for your account. You wanna don't want to be caught lacking there, man. Guess we're moving waves, dev team. Yep. And here it is, man. Man, this is it. And there it is, man. The Genshin could never, man. A gift from Mudrigo's dev team. 20 fucking pulls. Remember when they said, oh, this is our gift for you sticking around with us for three years. Here's three pulls. The dev team for Wuthering Wives just went, yeah, nah. Double that. No, wait, wait, wait. Times seven that. If we're dealing with such a good dev team, I can see myself going full Wuthering Waves. I can see myself doing that. If this is the type of appreciation we get, I'm all for it. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. All right, Kuro Games. I see you. I see you, man. I see you. You also get the four standard, four uh, limited in San Juan by just, you know, seven days login. It's always good. Aw Awakening Journey. This has to be the leveling. I think you have to reach level 45 to claim all these. It might take some time. And like I said, by the end of 1.0, you should be able to guarantee two five stars from the standard banner. And through playing, your asteroid should be able to give you at least a five star from the uh, limited banner. If not two. If not two. I'm fairly certain I can say you might be able to guarantee Yin Lin. Free upgrade bundle, you just get a free 10 pull again. But then again, I guess it's all counted in the 84 we get. And finally, you have the Rumbling Hollows. You get a free Yuan Wu from the end game content, which also have his best in slot as one of the weapons you get to choose from the pre-registration stuff. So ultimately, ultimately, I do feel like re-rolling will be fairly simple, but you kind of want to be informed, which I will be doing in the channel. So do make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, man. You don't want to be caught lacking. You want to make good decisions and adapt good decisions to your preferences. I do feel like that's the best way to play these games, in my opinion. But then again, if it's not for you, you do you. You can just be informed and do whatever the fuck you want to do, man. Hey, <laughs> I will see you on the next one. See you.